For my bullet journal theme this month, I've decided to combine some of my favorite creative elements, which are metallic watercolor, celestial illustrations, gothic lettering, and some calligraphy. So hey fam, it's ICFIC Studio and welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, this is where I share my reading journal and bullet journal videos. I am still using my bullet journal from 2023, but we're turning a new leaf for the new year. And for January 2024, my theme is Celestial Lunar Moth. So the first page I'm doing is a cover page. And I wanted to add some collage elements, so I took some black paper from one of my Black Archer and Olive notebooks. And this beautiful collage foil paper is actually from the Archer and Olive 2022 Halloween box. So these foil papers are actually one of my stationary pieces that I don't dare touch because they're just so pretty. But then again, it won't do them justice to just keep them in a box and all the more reason to buy some more pretty stationery. <laughs> so now that I'm finished with my little collages, I'm gonna add some gothic lettering. So learning black letter calligraphy is actually something that I want to do this year but I can't seem to find the time so I resort to Pinterest for inspiration and this is the exemplar that I follow and you'll see the process that I undergo every time I add gothic calligraphy to my bullet journal. So I use the pencil to draft everything and then I just modify the letters until I'm happy with the result and now we're finalizing with my chosen metallic watercolor of the month which is fine text rose gold so if you haven't watched my 2024 bullet journal setup i use fine tech arabic gold and i wanted to continue the metallic colors into january so anyway i like my metallic watercolor consistency to be really opaque so i mix it with as little water as possible so the consistency is almost paste like and really thick and another thing about metallic watercolors is that it's so hard to take photos of them. You have to take the photos and the videos at a specific angle to capture the shimmery and shine. Which is why this video isn't really captured from a flat lay perspective, rather it's captured from various angles. Oh and by the way, I am currently painting the word of the month which is impermanence. And this is actually inspired by one of the sessions I've meditated to on Headspace. And I just like how it means everything changes and nothing is permanent. And I feel like that means there is always an opportunity for us to reach our goals and our dreams. And one of my dreams this year is to actually do good on YouTube because I want to share all of the art that I do on my journals with a lot more people. Thank you so much for all the love for my last two videos, my 2023 reading journal and flip through and my 2024 reading journal journal set up and if you haven't yet it would mean a lot if you subscribe to this channel moving on to the second half of my cover page i will be including a lunar moth which i have been seeing a lot of on pinterest so you'll see me drafting an amalgamation of all of the lunar moth pins that i compiled on pinterest i don't draw without a reference so i need something to look at before i put pen into paper and i usually combine a variety of sources and not just focus on one because i don't want to copy something exactly the same and on that note, I think that our creative uniqueness is influenced by multiple factors around us and I think that's what makes us all unique. So anyway, this is my Lunar Moth illustration and I'm just adding some rose gold details on the wings. And under the moth, I've decided to add some lyrics from a song that I currently resonate with, which is called Crave by Paramore. What about you? Are there any songs or words that resonate with you at the moment? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so now let's move on to my January monthly page. I will be adding a collage on the left side of the page using the black paper and the foil paper. And I will be using the dots on the black paper as reference for another round of gothic lettering. So in case you were wondering, I usually measure around 5 to 7 dots for the height of the letters. If it's a letter that has a tail or a descender stem, I usually allot maybe 2 or 3 more extra dots below the letter. So what I'm doing here is I'm writing the first 3 letters of the month down the page and just making necessary modifications so that the word is actually in the middle. And using the same consistency of paint to paint in the letters and the edges of the ripped black paper.
So funny story, I actually hated how this page turned out, but I'm gonna show you how I fixed this without ripping out the paper as much as I wanted to. <laughs> so anyway, I cut out the last two pages of my journal and glued them on the two pages that I wanted to change. I gently removed the black collage paper with the January on it and glued it on the new page. This happened because I was rushing because the sun was setting and the lighting would be so crap and I thought in the end oh it would have been nice to add a little bit of calligraphy and this is how I usually draft my calligraphy quotes and I'm just gonna finalize with my current favorite brush pen which is the pilot feud makase so the quote is from headspace which was also from where I got the word of the month impermanence from that was actually my most favorite headspace meditation sessions because it talks about you know the faces of the moon and the night sky and how everything changes and I feel like I just relate to that a lot and that is something that I want to remind myself this month. I am adding another lunar moth illustration. And again, like the first one, it is a combination of all of the lunar moth pins that I have combined in Pinterest and just adding my own personal touches. So lately I have been using my bullet journal as a memory keeping journal and I use a separate A6 daily journal for all of the things that I need to do and all of the events that I need to take note of but this journal is where I'm gonna put my core memories and all of the memories in between. So for my weekly pages I will be doing Dutch doors and for my Dutch doors I like the pages ripped and this is me ripping away and painting the torn edges rose gold. So on the top part of the page, I write the date and I use one page per week and in those pages, I either stick photos or things to remember the week by because I'm sentimental like that and I don't have the heart to throw some things away. So I stick them in my journal. And lastly, I'm going to add another collage so it completes the Dutch door look. So the same black paper and the foil paper. So this empty space is where I will usually write an end of the month brain dump or a monthly recap. I just find that this is a good opportunity for me to look back on the things that worked out, on the things that I need to improve on. I think this is a great opportunity for self-growth. Now we've reached the end of my January 2024 bullet journal setup. Here is a flip through. I may not have included conventional bullet journal pages in my own bullet journal, but in saying that every bullet journal is unique, it really depends on how you want to use it, how you want your bullet journal to serve you, and that's what will make your bullet journal unique. So I hope um, I've given you some inspiration for this month and you've enjoyed this video. And if you've made it this far, thank you, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next video.